A warning if there are children in the room, the content here may be disturbing. As you can imagine, the governor is horrified by what's happened. This is Lieutenant Paul Vance from the state police. Hi, good afternoon. Uh, I will give you some uh, very basic and brief information as we know it now, and we will set up regular press briefings as appropriate. Uh, just after 9.30 this morning, Newtown Police received a 911 call for an emergency at the elementary school. Newtown PD, upon obtaining information as to the statue of the uh, situation, contacted the Connecticut State Police and requested assistance from state police and surrounding local police departments. There were several fatalities at the scene, both students and staff. Uh, there is no information relative to that that is being released at this time uh, until we've made complete and proper notification. The shooter is deceased inside the building. Uh, CNN can only confirm uh, that as many as 20 people uh, have been killed in this school shooting. A warning if there are children in the room, the content here may be disturbing. For those of you who are just turning in, we are now getting numbers. Our own John King reporting, quoting law enforcement uh, sources as saying at least 20, but perhaps closer to 30 individuals, many of them children, have been killed in this incident. The individual, uh, the suspect, a 20-year-old, uh, is uh, the suspect, the shooter, in the tw is, is a 20-year-old. A law enforcement official with with uh, knowledge of the investigation telling our Susan Candiotti that suspect uh, we believe uh, is dead right now. Uh, you just heard police uh, at, a, at a small briefing didn't provide a lot of information. Uh, just after 9:30 this morning, Newtown Police received a 911 call for an emergency at the elementary school. Newtown PD, upon obtaining information as to the statue of the uh, situation contacted the Connecticut State Police and requested assistance from state police and surrounding local police departments. There were several fatalities at the scene, both students and staff. Uh, there is no information relative to that that is being released at this time uh, until we've made complete and proper notification. The shooter is deceased inside the building. That was the police chief in Newtown, uh, Connecticut. Uh, law enforcement a source uh, close to the investigation tells our own Susan Candiotti that the suspect who is deceased uh, is a 20-year-old. We don't know the precise connection, the relationship he may have had with this small elementary school. It was about 20 people. Now we are hearing the number of fatalities of both adults and children is closer to 30, and 18 to 20 of those dead are children. Well, uh, we are hearing also that the, the dead shooter in this case, already dead, is someone in his 20s. We do know, according to the state police, they announced at the news conference that uh, that the a search warrant is being executed at that uh, suspected shooter's home. The shooter has been identified to me by a source as Ryan Lanza. Ryan Lanza in his 20s. Apparently, we are told from the source from this area. However, that has not been confirmed by the state police, who did say that a search warrant is being executed at this time. Ryan. It's Ryan. Ryan. I don't know whether he said Brian, but Ryan Lanza with an R. Exactly. In his 20s, uh, we are still trying to find out more information, get confirmed information about what connection he may have, if any, to the school. And we do know that would be standard operating procedure, that police would be actively searching his home for any clues as to what may have allegedly led him to this. We do know, according to another source, that at least two weapons were recovered from his body, which was discovered in a classroom. We do not know whether he took his own life or whether he was shot by police or in some other way. Those two weapons described to me as a Glock and a Sig Sauer. So just to recap, uh, closer to 30 confirmed dead now, Susan, based on your reporting, 18 to 20 of them children. Uh, we don't know how many individuals, children, adults were injured. Uh, we do know that Several were taken to nearby hospitals. Uh, just to recap, uh, the uh, shooter in this case, the suspected gunman, identified now as Ryan, R-Y-A-N, Lanza, L-A-N-Z-A, in his 20s. That, according to a law enforcement source who told that to CNN, uh, the shooter died at the scene. We don't know the circumstances on how he died. We're working those details as well. A warning, if there are children in the room, the content here may be disturbing. Earlier today, a 
tragedy of unspeakable terms played itself out uh, in this community. Uh, Lieutenant Governor and I have been spoken to in, in an attempt that we might be prepared for something like this playing itself out in our state. You can never be prepared for this kind of incident. The perpetrator of the crime is dead, uh, as is an individual uh, who uh, the perpetrator lived with. But shortly after 9.30 this morning, Newtown Police Department received a call for help at the Sandy Hook Elementary School uh, here in, in Newtown. Uh, upon re realizing the intensity and the difficulty of the situation, Newtown called for surrounding police departments and state police to respond to assist. Upon arrival of law enforcement officers at the school, they immediately entered the school as we knew this was an active, potential active shooter situation. As has been reported, there were fatalities. There were 18 children that were pronounced dead at the school. There were two that were transported to area hospitals and pronounced dead at area hospitals. And there were six adults pronounced dead at the scene at the school. As the governor has reported, the shooter is deceased, is deceased in the school. Uh, there's a great deal of work going on relative to that. That's the reason we have not identified him as of yet. And by that, I mean search warrants, examination of areas of, of uh, uh, residence, employment, and any ancillary things that may be attached to the identity and to that individual. There is a secondary crime scene here in, in, in Newtown. That, that is, in fact, correct. Uh, there is a, an, an adult deceased uh, at that location. Uh, I can't discuss any further information on that at this time. Uh, the information that we have right now that we want to publicize is that the shootings did take place in one section of the school in two rooms. Okay, one section in two rooms. That's that's as much as we want to go in right now as far as location. I'm sorry? Were the children in one class? They were in one section or one area of the of the school. That's the best I can do on that answer. I don't know specifically how many rooms were involved. I was told that there were two, but in one section of the school building. And then with the adults, were they classroom? Everyone was in that same section of the building. Not to be to be determined. So a section of the building is as far as we want to go. I would we've been asked by the family members to ask the members of the press to respect their privacy and to please leave them alone at this time. They're going through a tremendous amount of grief, which I'm sure you can appreciate. So I would, I've been asked to, uh, to, to ask you that uh, personally by the family members. One other individual was killed at a different location. We suspect uh, that's the location of Hoboken, New Jersey, where the brother of this suspected shooter, Ryan Lanza, uh, has been found. Uh, so uh, altogether, 27 on the scene, 26 uh, there, plus the shooter, another person would be 28 uh, dead people as a result of what has happened. A warning, if there are children in the room, the content here may be disturbing. Criminal investigation, we are limited as to some of the details that we can give out to you for obvious reasons. Uh, first, let it be stated that uh, I've, I've told you the number of deceased in the building, at the hospital, and at the secondary crime scene. Uh, it's our policy and protocol that we have to establish positive identification of those victims. That is a time-consuming process. That's something that's going to take a great deal of time. Uh, the medical examiner has already arrived in the scene. He's going to work very closely with us to expedite that and get that done as efficiently as possible. Uh, I just want to make it very clear uh, that uh, there were 18 children who were pronounced dead at the scene. There were two children who were transported to area hospital or pronounced dead at the hospital. Uh, there were six adults that were pronounced dead at the scene. And uh, obviously, the, the shooter was also pronounced dead at the scene. Shooter's identity, uh, Adam Lanza, can you confirm? Not going to confirm the identity of the shooter. We're not prepared to do that yet. So we have a tentative identification. We're still working with that. So we're not going to confirm the identity and, and put that out there. We will, we will identify the shooter at an appropriate time. Just for our investigatory purposes, it's not appropriate to do that right now. And, and now we have the, the, the identification process, which is even more difficult. Uh, and so it's going to be some time before we're able to give you that information. It probably won't be available until sometime tomorrow. Did you identify the weapon? weapon? Did we identify a weapon? We have seized the weapon. Yes, we have, sir. How many? What kind of weapon? We did not. We will not discuss that at this time, sir. Lieutenant, was one of the teachers killed? Uh, well, we can't confirm any of that right now. The investigation is ongoing. When I was getting in my car, I heard sirens going off continuously car after car after car. Some of them were flying up past my house and coming back around again and going to the school. This house is three houses away from the school. It was uh, shocking. I got the call at work this morning and uh, 
I can't believe a small town like this would ever have anything like this happen. It was terrifying. It's, it's, I'm still terrified. I think I'm still in shock about it all. When we first arrived there, there was not a lot of security to uh, guard. And there were three children that came out. It's like, I think I'm still in shock. Mary Snow is joining us now uh, from outside the suspect's mother's home, we believe. Is that correct, Mary? That is correct, uh, Wolf, and we, had, we just left uh, that location, but we had been there several hours uh, throughout the afternoon. And that, the investigation stretched to that home, and it was it's being treated as a, a crime scene. Uh, we saw SWAT teams there, and we can tell you that uh, residents near that home have been, were told to evacuate uh, earlier today. We talked to one neighbor who said she was told at around 11 o'clock this morning by police to get out right away. A warning if there are children in the room, the content here may be disturbing. Uh, as you know, uh, there are a number of victims, uh, teachers, support personnel in the building and children. And quite frankly, as we stand here today, still can't imagine uh, what transpired there. Evil visited this community today. This is a very tight-knit community. It's a very large parish, a dynamic parish. Um, everybody knows everybody here. We have no idea the motive, what was behind, what was going on. 26 people were killed, and then the shooter, we believe, killed himself. Uh, separately, the mother of the shooter, we believe, uh, was killed separately at a home not far away from this school. Uh, you're looking at live pictures coming in from Newtown, Connecticut right now. The police are continuing their investigation. We also understand that for a few hours now, police took into custody, or at least took someone in for questioning, someone who's been identified to us by sources as a brother of the dead shooter here involved in this school incident, the, the school shooting. And they're asking him questions about his brother. Uh, there, he is not being called a suspect at this time, but they do want to try to find out at the very minimum what information he may have about the de dead gunman here at the school. Also trying to find out more about um, the mother of the shooter, who you know has been identified as a school teacher. And of course, she was found dead, uh, we are told by sources, at a residence uh, nearby the school here. We assume the shooter committed suicide, uh, and, and all that uh, uh, took place between 9.30 and 10 a.m. or so, approximately 20 minutes or a half, a, half an hour. The assumption I have is that the shooter presumably right. killed his mother uh, at the home before driving over to the school. That's a fair assumption here, but no one officially is saying that. In fact, they haven't even officially released the name of the gunman in this case. We do know from sources they've recovered at least three weapons from the scene. Two of them handguns, including a Glock and a Sig Sauer, and another one a semi-automatic weapon identified as a 223 Bushmaster.